Ronnie Shellist. I've got an A harp in my hand today. And wouldn't it be cool if you could begin to more easily integrate that series that I put out, Learn This One Blues Riff? Um, I thought about it. I'm like, okay, people enjoy learning the riffs, but the ultimate is to be able to make music out of it. And not everybody has the ability to naturally see how these riffs might fit into um, a progression when they're improvising. So my thought for today was, let's go back to part one of that series. I laid out this riff. The following notes are one draw. I'll put it in the video description as a reminder. One draw, two draw, full step bend, two draw, half step bend, two draw. Three draw, half step bend, three draw, full step bend, two draw, two full step bend, and one draw. So let's let's just say that's the exact riff. I didn't even go back and check, but I'm oh, I'm like 99% sure what we're going to do with this riff and it doesn't matter. We're going to take this riff. Step 1, we're going to chop it in half. We're going to chop we're going to just take this stopping at three draw half step bend. So play this with me. One draw Two draw full step bend. Two draw half step bend. Two draw. Three draw half. Okay. First step is let's just take half the riff. Let's put on this track medium shuffle and E. This comes from the Ultimate Blues Jam tracks and it's the harmonica edition if you're digging this video give me that thumbs up it helps me gain traction out there in the youtube world so i can reach more harmonica players here we go So let's say, hey, that worked out well. Before I do anything else, you could just take this strategy. Let's just zoom in here for a minute and, and get the most out of the exercise. You could take that series of notes and now just work on phrasing by arbitrarily pausing and holding a note a little bit longer or maybe in between notes leaving a rest of silence. Pure experimentation. <laughs> Let's try something totally different. Looks like a long one draw, maybe. Double up. get the idea the other half of this riff so it was let's start it let's pretend the half step is the middle point and just go half step three so half step bend two three draw full step bend two draw two full step bend one draw all right and let's just do the same thing for a second with that half of the riff Write this down. If you want to pause the video and just write that down real quick. Five chord. We'll let it come all the way back around to the beginning of the progression.
Let's play with it. Same notes, right? Now let's put the whole riff together and play with this. And this is how you can begin to integrate riffs. Let's review some of this real quick. Let me pause the track. If it's a longer riff, cut it in half or find a good cut point where you can just take two, three, four notes at most and work those slowly until you have just a minute to work that one riff in time. You know? And then work the different variations of phrasing. You got the examples today of ways you can do that. It works the same for any riff. The coolest thing about phrasing and what we're talking about today is that it's all a matter of taste and opinion. There are no hard set rules. Here's, here's how you phrase. So phrasing is the space that you don't, what creates it is the space that you leave and how you shape your, your notes. It is the sequence of notes, but yet also the space between them that's determining the way that that phrase is going to come out. So you've got to really play with long holds on notes. You got to leave longer space, maybe between the notes than you think, like just hold a note and then move. And you'll find all these new ideas right at your fingertips from the things that you've already been working on for so long, potentially. So just take your time. That series that I did of six you know, learn that one blues riff, you can go back now and see if you can take these riffs and start to integrate it the way I am. If you like this track, it comes from that Ultimate Blues Jam track, Harmonica Edition. I'll put a link to that. You can download all 30 tracks. I think it's $20 on the website for a 30 track download and work them. Just bring them into your playing. I hope this helps you out. I look forward to seeing you soon. I will catch you on Monday. If you like this video, do give me that thumbs up. Help me get some of that traction on YouTube and be sure to subscribe. See you soon.